Welcome to support videos for Control-M. This video will demonstrate how to use the automation API to build and troubleshoot authorization roles. We'll start at the documentation website. You can see here we have the automation API 919 reference up and we're looking at the services. Let's go down to the configuration and authorization roles and take a look at what we're going to use. So we're going to be adding a role, getting the role details and update the role definitions. As you can see it's well documented and the support site with examples of the command syntax and the ability to copy so that you can paste into your prompt. Let's move to the configuration manager so we can uh, do this. So what we'll do first is take a look at the authorizations we have in here. First you'll note that we're now using the term roles rather than groups. You'll see the default roles are in here at this point. What we're going to do is take the admin group role, uh, download it, edit it, and use this as our starting point for our new group. So let's move to the command prompt. You'll see we've got our Node.js command prompt, so we've got our CTM utility installed here, and you can see the command we're going to use, CTM config authorization role get admin group, which is the name of the admin group, and we're going to put this into a JSON file. So let's go ahead and run that, and then we'll take a look at what's inside it. Here it is, just freshly created. So we're going to open this up with a text editor. And here we have the contents. So you see, first of all, the name. So we're going to need to update this to create a new group later on. And we'll put a slightly more meaningful description in here as well. Once we do that, we'll move on to make some changes so we can see the differences in the groups and uh, demonstrate this. So what I'm going to do is remove a bunch of these authorizations from the active tab by deleting them out of here. I'm going to just going to remove the line and save it. And now what we're going to do is create a new group by using the appropriate command and passing it this text file. So we'll move back to the command prompt to do this. Um, we can just edit the previous command slightly to run this. So we're going to change get. We're going to change get to become add and then pass it the file name. And we'll run it just as we did before. It just takes a second to run and it says it was created successfully. So we'll go back to the configuration manager here, open up authorizations again, and there we see our new group and we see our description edited. Now let's click on edit and go back to the active tab and you'll see the default admin group has all of these checked. In this one they're unchecked because we removed them and it's not going to set anything in there. So what I'll do is add these back, click OK, save and close this. In our scenario, this is us testing the new authorizations. Now what we want to do is revert to our baseline that's in the file. So we're going to use the update option, almost identical command, and we're going to pass it the file again. And that's basically going to update the group to the old authorizations. And we do need to give it the name of the group here as well. Now you notice this message this time, a rule name must match the one in the file. Let's take a look at what's happened here. And this is a good example of the sort of error that you might see here. So looking back here, let's check the name, new admin group. How we see there's a capital N. So going back here, um, we can see that actually it is case sensitive so that we do need a capital N there. So let's rerun it. And this time it was successful. So now let's go back to the configuration manager, authorizations again, edit it, and check that active tab and see 
that it's back to the default baseline configuration, and it is. So in, in this case, this allows us to get back to that baseline configuration that we're using for testing or even um, moving permissions between uh, enterprise manager environments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this solutions video. We hope you found it useful. You'll find more videos like this in our knowledge base and on YouTube.